here we go YouTube quick video update of the young Birmingham rollers but in this video we're gonna be talking a little bit about feed and why I use the feed that I use so what I wanted to show you guys if you guys look at the condition of my birds and you guys look at their droppings the birds are in top health now feed plays a really big part on the health of your pigeons especially during the molt. so now the reason why I feed a high protein is because I want my young birds to be as powerful as they can be and as, as strong and as healthy as they can be. Reason being, you want your birds rolling nice, you want them rolling clean, you don't want that sloppy roll. As far as the oil that some of you guys noticed in the feed, all it is is oregano and garlic oil. And this is just a natural antibiotic and probiotic for your pigeons. Now as far as ration goes, I use a eight ounce cup and a 16 ounce cup depending on how my birds fly that day is what will determine what I feed them, whether they get an eight ounce cup or a 16 ounce cup. If they fly too long, they get eight ounces. If they didn't fly enough or I feel like they need more energy, they will get their 16 ounce now, cup. The reason of this feed is to keep things simple and keep your birds very healthy, as you guys can see here. Most guys can't even show you the quality and condition of their birds because the birds look raggedy they look they look ugly now the reason why these birds look healthy is because of the type of feed that they're getting and what I'm doing for them so I will show you what these birds are doing off of this feed and how they're flying These are young birds. These birds are about maybe three months of age. They've been flying maybe two months. So we're still working on the depth. By no means necessary am I saying these birds are the best birds out there, nor am I saying that my feed regimen is the best. But one thing I can tell you is that the feed regimen actually works. And I'm showing you guys that here. The birds are dropping elevation looks like they'll be coming down soon I'll be showing you guys what I feed them and how I feed them and why I feed them we'll show you guys here I do have uh, my mixed grain separate um, I don't confuse people and I don't show this part of training because this is a little bit tricky it depends on the bird you have um, how your birds react to some of this feed so 
I keep it simple and I show you guys my mixed grain, which I mix myself. And this is for kit birds. This is for competition birds. My birds are nowhere near competition, so this is not even needed. So anyone that tells you to use individual grain and feed your birds wheat, especially if they're babies, I wouldn't really recommend it. You're really not helping your birds develop. They're still babies. They need to grow into their uh, muscles, their bodies, their feathers. Uh, just so much more that your birds will get from all these different grains versus just one grain if that makes any sense to you guys so really simple with the oils I'll just show you guys what I do just real simple a quarter teaspoon of the oil and this oil is just for beneficial purpose as far as the malt and keeping your birds healthy as you guys can see right here They're waiting for their feed already. I do feed a little bit at a time. It just gives everybody a good um, rotation, a good ration, a good timing for everybody to get a chance to eat. So I give them a little handful maybe to get them all in. Once they're all in, then I'll start the feeding process. So I let them relax for about maybe 10, 15 minutes and then I'll start feeding them because I know this guy right here is rolling, uh, she's rolling and then this guy right here is rolling a lot more than the rest. So I would like for them to get a good rest so they can get as much feed as the rest of the team. So what I like to do is I like to feed them um, maybe about a handful at a time because what that does it allows the birds to eat a little bit of every different type of grain and then like I mentioned before allowing the birds to eat a little bit of each grain it just makes it um, good for all the birds to be able to eat um, the different grains and just help your birds develop into their full natural bodies you don't want to you don't want a light, skinny, feathery bird. You want a bird that's in uh, good condition. And you want the bird to roll because the bird wants to roll. You shouldn't have to um, manipulate feed, like give them straight wheat or give them uh, whatever. Um, a lot of guys give them that type of feed because they're manipulating the bird to roll. So my birds, they, they get as much as they want. Um, on days where they do fly too much, I will narrow it down. And that's only to take away their fly time. But other than that, I like my birds in full top health strength. And if they can't roll then, they really won't be able to roll at all. Because I stress my birds out when I want to see them roll uh, more than normal. And like I mentioned before, that's when you prep your birds for competition but that's a different conversation because you have to feed the birds differently which one day maybe I'll show when I do prep a kit for a competition go ahead and let these guys finish up their high def mix birds are done eating you guys can see they look real nice and healthy even though they are going through the mold but they're like kind of halfway through it so I'll keep you guys updated on these guys let me know what you guys think comment subscribe and we will keep you guys updated